Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email and it says, Mr. Locario, I have a question, but I might rant for a minute. So I'm 21, still a virgin in college, and I haven't attracted a girl on campus. The funny part about it is I'm, I am the man on campus, but I don't get any pussy. It seems like girls just want to be friends. I don't know what it is. It might be because I'm short, which um, I'm insecure of. Or it might be my below average to average looks or my insecurity about being a virgin. To tell you the, to tell you the truth, uh, so many things I think of every day. The crazy part is I'm the school's DJ and everyone hits me up to see what happens on campus. People know I'm the man, but I know I'm not. Honestly, I'm tired of being depressed and without a chick and being a virgin in college. I don't want to have sex with a girl and then she talks bad about my dick. I'm terrified of that. Locario, honestly, I just want to be happy and have a girl. What should I do? Sorry about um, the rant and your reply would be greatly appreciated. All right, so there's a lot of stuff going on in here, man. So first of all, you know, what I'm seeing here is you gotta, you gotta understand that, you know, in order for you to really attract women for you to get girls and make these things happen is first, you have to start with how you view yourself. Do you understand? And it's, it's your confidence is not, it's not there. Your, your confidence is low. You're feeling insecure about yourself. And a lot of your problems and your issues are going to come from that source right there. The fact that you, you know, you're, you're saying a lot of things in here where you're saying, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm scared of what these girls are going to think of, you know, uh, of my dick or something. And, you know, you're saying, Hey, you know, I'm the man on campus and everybody knows I'm the man, but I don't, I know I'm not, you understand? So it's kind of like, you know, it doesn't really even matter if people on campus or whatever think you're awesome. Do you understand? What matters is if you think you're awesome. Do you understand? Everybody, you could, everybody could come up to you and say, yo, man, you're the best. You're an awesome DJ. You're cool. You're the coolest guy ever. But if you do not believe it, if you don't think it, it doesn't matter. Do you understand? It's like you ever see a really hot chick and or, you know, you, you, you run across a hot girl and you'll probably start talking to her or a girl that you know who's a friend in your school or whatever and you think she's really hot and she doesn't think she's as hot as you think she is you understand so she has this insecurity she doesn't see how hot she is so it doesn't matter how hot you think she is she doesn't see it she doesn't feel it you understand what i'm saying so the same thing is going on with you is that you know, you probably get props for being a good DJ. People tell you that, you know, you're doing a good job. You got shit popping. People come to you and say, hey, this is going on. And that's going on and all of that. But the thing is, is that you you don't view yourself as valuable. You're not confident within yourself. Do you understand? So the first thing you gotta understand is that you have to, you know, work on your confidence. And again, if you guys are on my Bad Boy membership program, right, I have a program called how to improve your inner game. And I also have another program called 10 ways to build your confidence. And the thing is, is that you have to understand that you have to, you know, work on your confidence because if you do not work on your confidence, everything else is going to, you know, it's not going to work out for you. Do you understand? There's no pickup line. There's no thing I can tell you to say. There's, n there's no amount of, you know, women that you're going to talk to, that is going to make it easier for you to get girls if your confidence is low. Everything's going to be still, it's going to keep getting harder. It's going to, you know, uh, basically not flow the way it needs to flow because your confidence is low. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the thing is, you know, you're saying that, you know, um, a lot of the girls seem like they just want to be friends. And the reason why it, it you know, it's probably seeming that way is because when you, you know, when you talk to girls, you know, and you don't have that confidence to really get at them, then what happens is that while you're talking to them, you start talking to them in sort of like this regular friendly tone. You understand? Like this regular manner where you're not having any, you're not building any sexual tension. You're not really flirting with them because you feel like you can't get them anyway. So you're sort of like, well, I'm, you know, I'm not going to take it there. Cause I don't, I don't think she's going to, you know, respond to me that well. Or if I do try to take it there, I don't want to get rejected. So that's why, you know, a lot of times you end up just being friends with the chick. And the thing is, you're saying that, you know, you feel sort of insecure because you're short and, you know, you also feel insecure because you're a virgin. 
And, you know, I say to a lot of guys, like, you know, it's not, you know, guys who are virgins, you know, it's nothing wrong with you being a virgin, right? But the thing is, you don't want to make that be something that's embarrassing to you or something that you feel bad about. Because, again, all those things are going to come out when you're talking to girls, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that you have to really spend time to work on yourself first, right? Understand your value, understand how valuable you are. Cause you're like, look, I got, you know, I'm a DJ at a school, you know, people be coming up to me for stuff and making stuff happen. So, you know, play off of that, understand like, look, this is what I do and I do it well. I'm awesome at it. Right. So let's say, you know, you have chicks in your school who will just, you know, come up to you to ask you some questions about it. Or, you know, like, let's say you're having a party and you DJ in and they come up and, you know, like ask you if you got a record that they, you could play or do you got this song or whatever and all of that other stuff. You understand? You can say, yeah, I got, I got that song. Hey, come here for a second. Let me talk to you. Like when those girls are coming up to you to, to ask you regular questions, that's when you holler at them and talk to them. See, the thing is, you know, you, you, you got to put yourself out there in order for anything to start to happen in order for you to start, you know, dating girls, you got to put yourself out there in order for you to start having sex. You got to put yourself out there. And also you have to be prepared for the rejection and for all the, you know, the, the, the flakes and all the craziness that you're going to have to go through while you're, you know, getting what you want to get. You understand? See what you don't want to get yourself in a space of, you don't want to get yourself in this cycle of talking to girls, you know, you keep getting, you getting rejected and then you start feeling bad for yourself. Then that makes you even feel even more insecure and then that insecurity and you feeling bad for yourself, you know, stops you from getting, from approaching girls and making it happen, right? So then you stop for a while and then what's going to happen is, is that your desire is not going to go away. Your desire to get girls is not going to go away. So then what's going to happen is you're going to must try to muster up the courage to say something to this girl you like or, or try to make something happen. And then when you finally try again to talk to the girl, she's going to most likely reject you. Things aren't going to happen because you're still coming from a place of insecurity. This is why I'm saying it's very, 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 very important that you work on your confidence. Do you understand? And it's something that you have to work on and then you have to keep going in, in that direction, right? And you have to keep going and making it happen until, you know, you see these results. See, you can't, wallow in you know the stuff that you're seeing right now you understand you like, like i'll give you an example let's say you're a person who's trying to run a business or trying to start a business right when you're starting a business there's going to be a year or two or something where you're not going to see any money right so that you're going to be you're going to keep going you're going to keep going there's going to be shit that's going to go wrong there's going to be stuff that's not going to go your way right but the guy, the people who make it in business the people who actually start making money and have a successful business the, the thing that separates them from the people who fail is that they keep going even when shit isn't going the way that, that they want it to go, they don't give up. They keep improving. They keep going back to the drawing board. They say, okay, what can I do better? Right? They don't say, oh, well, my business sucks. Nobody likes me. You know, uh, what's the point? I give up. And that, that is what it is. So when you're out here talking to girls and, and trying to get with girls, I'm just letting you know that you have to be prepared and, and just go through the rejections, go through the girls who say they're going to go on a date with you and flake on you, go through that nonsense, because what's going to happen is by, by going through it, you're going to break through and you're going to find the girl who's cooperative. You're going to find the girl who, who likes you. You're going to find the girl who's going to show up for the date. You're going to find the girl who wants to have sex with you. You understand? But that only go, that only happens by going through the bullshit. You have to go through the bullshit in the dating game in order to have success. You understand? You have to do it. It's not going to happen unless you do it. There's no way around it. There is no person, there's no guy on earth who was trying to get girls and didn't get rejected. There's no guy on earth who's, you know, went on, on, on dates or multiple dates and didn't have a girl, um, flake on them. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's no guy on earth who, you know, every girl he talks to, the shit just goes exactly how it's, it's planned. You understand? Like it, it just, that's not reality. But the reality is, is that you will get success 
if you keep going and if you you build your confidence and also what you need to do is work on your technique work on the way that you do things the work on the way that you say things work on the way that you interact with these girls but see what i would suggest you do first is you know build your confidence you understand like just within yourself have that feeling talk to yourself pump yourself up and then you start going out and talking to these girls and don't let the outcome of what's happening deter you from getting your success from you making things happen do you understand you got to just keep going and keep pushing and i know that it's not a, an easy thing but the thing is is that if you want success if you want things to happen right you need to do that and the thing is you know you're saying you're a virgin and you have to just own it and be okay with that you understand i even say say sometimes the guys who are virgins i say use that to your advantage when you're flirting with girls be like listen you know you know, you're kind of cute. You know, we've been chilling for a little bit. You know, I think you, you're kind of hot. And, you know, I got to let you know something. You know, I'm a virgin. I never had sex. But, you know, if you if you keep playing your cards right, if you keep being cool, I, m I might make you the one. I might. I don't know. You understand? And you're coming at it where you're like, you're playful. It's it's cool. And she sees that you're comfortable with yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? See, the thing is, it doesn't matter where you are at in the game. It doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have a dime in your pocket. It doesn't matter. You know, you don't have to be the best looking guy. It doesn't matter if you're a virgin. All that shit doesn't matter. You know what matters? When you are comfortable with where you're at and you are continuing to progress and then girls can feel that energy because you're just exuding confidence and positive energy no matter what's going on. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that when you are doing that, then at, so, at, at what's going to happen is at a certain point, you're going to start to see results. You're going to start to see the positive results because you keep going. You don't stop because five, six girls rejected. You go to the seventh girl, you go to the eighth girl, and you still are confident while you are doing that. The part is that's hard is that it's hard for you, you know, to continue to be confident and to feel confident when you see that you're getting the rejections. You understand what I'm saying? But what you got to understand is, is that by doing that and by talking to women and even getting rejected and being in those situations, you are farther ahead than most guys who are still scared and standing on the sidelines just trying to, you know, they don't even say anything to anybody because they're trying to avoid the conflict. They're trying to avoid the rejection. They're trying to avoid the flakiness. They're trying to avoid, you know, all this other stuff, right? But the thing is, is that you're saying, listen, even though this isn't, um, you know, these past four or five girls didn't go cool with maybe the sixth and seventh girl will you understand what i'm saying and what happens is is that while you're doing that you're getting practice you're practicing how it feels to you know be in those situations and also taking note of seeing what's working and what's not working you understand so while you're in school you know, and you're out here and you're, you know, you have these maybe like a, a school party or the DJ, you know, and everything like that. You know what I mean? Or, you know, you, you tell girls like, hey, look, you know, there's this party going on, come through. And, you know, the girls you tell to come through when they get there, you know, tell them to come to the DJ booth and check it, check it, check with you real quick or whatever. While you're talking to them, be like, listen, you know, after this party, let's get together and make something happen. Meet me here. Meet me there. You understand? Like, use that to your advantage. You should feel, um, you know, proud of the fact that you are the DJ, that you actually have some talent and skill to do that. And that's the part of where you start to, you know, um, um, gravitate your, your confidence from. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, okay, this is something that I do well. This is something that I'm good at. Right. And that's something you can be proud of. And that's something that shows that you have value, that you bring something to the table, that you bring something. You have something to, to offer, you know, people in the world. You understand what I'm saying? So when a chick is dealing with you, you understand you bring that energy to them. You understand? And the fact that you're, you know, short, that doesn't technically matter because there's a lot of guys who are not like super tall or whatever who can still get women but again it's still the confidence it's the it's what the guy puts out there do you understand see people they are you know this this is this is what i this is what i i noticed about people in life and and you know different things is that people will treat you how you basically tell them to treat you do you understand so what that basically means is this if you are the type of person who is confident who believes in themselves who is positive 
who, you know, puts their best foot forward, who has something, who brings something to the table, what's going to happen is, is that people are going to see that you are like that. They're going to feel that energy and then they're going to act accordingly to that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I, I've used this, this example before, uh, you know, in another video where I was talking about, uh, think of a song that you thought wasn't that great when you first heard it. You're like, this song is kind of, this cu- song kind of sucks, right? And then they played a song a million times on the radio, right? You hear the song in the club all the time. And then all of a sudden you like the song. Why is that? The reason why is because these people programmed you to feel their shit. These people, every time they, you know, put the song on, oh, this is a new joint from such and such. This is the hot shit. Everybody's getting it and some stuff. And you're the one sitting there like, oh, this, this shit is kind of whack. And then you keep hearing it, you keep hearing it. And then everybody, everybody around you is saying how hot it is and how awesome the song is. And guess what? You end up thinking the damn song is the shit. You end up liking the shit. You end the shit coming to club. You're like, oh, it's not, you know, it's not that bad. You understand? You at least get to that point where you're like, it's not that bad or it's not as bad as I thought. And what's really happening is it's the same damn song, right? But what's happening is, is that they've been pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And that pushing it and pushing the song out like that is the same way of you pushing out your confidence by you continuously telling yourself, listen, I am the shit. Because when they keep playing the goddamn song, they're telling you, yo, this song is a shit. You need to buy it. You need to buy it. If you're not on this, you're not in the in crowd. You're lame. If you're not down with this hot shit, I don't know what's wrong with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then so people act accordingly. Do you understand what I'm saying? They start to gravitate to that because now what's happening is is that you are changing the perception of how people you know you're changing people's perception of you because you change your perception of yourself do you understand what i'm saying and that's how you make things happen you understand because you know and the thing is, I know you go, you, you go through a tough time and I, I get a lot of these emails of guys who are virgins and guys who wants, who want girlfriends and to make these things happen. But what you need to do is you need to get into the motion of making it happen. You need to start making it happen. You have to get yourself up and in, in that, in that direction of making it happen. Cause what's going on is that you are, you are the person who is lying in bed, who doesn't want to get up, who's you know, they know they got to go to to some job they hate, you know, and, and, and they're just miserable. And, and you just, you just, you just stuck in that mindset, right? You're that type of person, right? Versus the person who the long clock, they, they get up before the long clock even goes off. They jump out of bed. They're excited to do what they want to do because they love doing what they want to do. They're confident in doing what they want to do. They go out there and they make stuff happen. They're going in a different direction, right? So what happens is, is that that person who's going in that, in that direction ends up reaping the benefits of what it means to go in that direction. The guy who's just staying in bed and just soaking, he's so caught up in that world, in that realm, then he's going to just stay in that that bullshit. The guy who's running towards his goals and is excited about it, he's going to, you know, uh, uh, make it happen because he's staying in that realm and going in that direction of making those things happen. So you have to get yourself out of that bullshit in order to go in the direction and start the motion of you really making things happen. You feel what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. And guys, listen, and, and you know, for, for, for the dude that sent the email and for anybody else listening, this is why, you know, I have my bad boy membership program. Make sure you go to bad boy membership dot com right now and join the membership and you can work on your confidence make sure you listen to the audios 10 ways to build your confidence and also listen to the other audio how to improve your inner game do you understand and then when you listen finish listening to those make sure you listen to the other audios i got on there where it tells you you know step by step how to actually approach women how to you know work on your technique and even in my book how to have sex with two women a day so you have all these tools here to help you while you're doing what you're doing. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is why I put this stuff out. To help you guys do it. Do you understand? To help you. The the, the blueprint is there. You just have to put it in motion. And you have to make it happen. Alright? So that's it guys. If you have any questions. Click the link below. And I'll holler at you later. Remember the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.
All right, now before you click off this video, I need you to do three quick things. First, I need you to click the link below to send me your questions, because if you have any questions, I'll answer them in a video. Two, click the link under that to get my free ebook, The Magnificent 10 Crucial Dating Tips for Men, gives you 10 tips on how to attract beautiful women. And number three, I want you to click the link under that to go to badboymembership.com, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step by step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.